subject anyways because, I mean, I see a lot of people around us going through things and struggling with things. But I pulled a few scriptures that I just want to share. You know, we don't always understand the suffering. It doesn't always make sense. And I know we, you know, as ministers, I think you hear a lot more on, you know, the powerful proclaim it, name it, grab it, you know, scriptures where ask what you will in my name and it shall be done. And, and I mean, these scriptures are there, don't get me wrong, and they have purpose and there is power there. But And there's a purpose in everything. But at the same time, there's so many scriptures that go along with, you know, where he says, you'll also suffer with me. There's two sides of the cross. There's a side of victory. There's a side of power. But there's a side of suffering. And I believe as men and women and children of God, we're going to walk both roads. I believe in, you know, we think of Hebrews 11, and we think that's the power, that's the faith chapter. Right. That's the, the, the chapter of just miracles and wonder and greatness. But you know, at the bottom of that chapter, there's a lot that, that people miss. And I want to just go to that scripture right quick. we got a few minutes here. But Hebrews 11, I'm going to try to unmark it here if I don't drop everything in the floor. He might be able to pull it up faster than I can get to it here. Hebrews 11, and I'm just going to kind of scroll down through there real quick, hitting a few of the verses, so just kind of roll with me. I, don't, I ain't got particular verses here, but Hebrews 11, it begins, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Then it goes on through in verse 3, Through faith we understand the worlds were framed. Verse 4, By faith Abel offered... And then, like I said, it goes on, verse 5, by faith, Enoch was translated. Talking about the faith that Enoch had. 6, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe. 7, by faith, Noah. 8, by faith, Abraham. Just powerful, you know, going on through, and we know the stories of these men. 9, by faith, he sojourned in the land of promise. Through faith, Sarah herself received strength. 13, these all died in faith, not having received the promise, referring to the promise that we have today uh, of the infilling of the Holy Ghost. Going on down, verse 17, by faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. 20, by faith, Isaac blessed Jacob. 21, by faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed both the sons of Joseph. Going on briefly, 23, by faith, Moses. 27, by faith, he forsook Egypt, not fearing the wrath of God. Now, we, and we can break each one of them lives down. Powerful acts, powerful moves of God. Then it goes on down to verse 29. By faith, they passed through the Red Sea. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished. And then 33. You hear all these, these names, these you know, title names throughout the scriptures that are mentioned. Faith. Through faith, by faith, powerful, the walls of Jericho fallen, Samson, the men that he took out. And all these names, but then at the end it says, Who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions. But then this last part of the scripture, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Women received their dead, raised to life again, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that were might attained of a better resurrection. And others. You know, so many times we focus so much on the power. I believe this others more than outweighs all these others that we just read. I believe there were so many in this category that we don't even focus on. Don't get me wrong, I'm, not, I'm just saying there's two sides of the cross. And there's many scriptures. Paul even said that he says, I suffer for his namesake. That we got to suffer for Christ. But it goes on, 36. And others had trials of cruel mockings, scourgings, yea, moreover, of bonds and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. 
They wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and in caves of the earth. And these all having obtained a good report through faith. Through faith. So many times we focus on the past. You know, I mentioned this because Sister Sanja has just given her testimony and how through these hours of God, what have I done? Why? Where's the power? Right. This same scripture that is our faith power pack knockout punch chapter that we use so often at the bottom. This group of others, the trial, the mockings, the scourgings, the afflictions, the destitution. I mean, doesn't sound like a very, and it wouldn't be my what I would use for my knockout punch. But here they are placed in the same chapter of the most powerful scriptures and men of God that brought great victories in their life. All I'm here to say today, church, we may not understand everything we're going through, everything we're facing, but God has a purpose and a reason. And you know, some of the greatest seeds that was ever sown into my life, as she was sitting up here going through this and talking about her testimony, was I remember Brother Pierce. Or not Brother Pierce, Brother Presley, and how when there he was laying on his deathbed, when I should have been encouraging him, and how he placed things inside of me at that very moment. I believe it's in those hardest hours that we have the greatest opportunity to release such glory and power into other people's lives. I wasn't there to walk with Brother Green when he went through what he went through, but as I've talked with a few since, he was releasing things as he went that people didn't even understand when he went through what he went through. And I'm just saying, let's not, let's just keep our eye on that. Sister Sanchez has already said, I've got a peace now, an assurance. Whatever happens, I'm going to allow God to do in my life what he wants to do. I want to go to one scripture that kind of speaks to that if I can here real quick. Romans, if I get the right chapter here, Romans no, I'm sorry. 2 Timothy 2, 7-10. 2 Timothy 2, 7-10. If you can get that for me. Be quicker for him to get it than it will be me here. Consider what I say, and the Lord give thee understanding in all things. Remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David was raised from the dead according to my gospel. Wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. Therefore I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Christ with eternal glory. But Paul is saying, I'm suffering as an evildoer. You know, I just feel his heart crying out. People would look at him and think, what have you done wrong? She kind of says well, who she thought was her friends. But he said, I may be bound in this physical fleshly body, but the word of God is not bound. And as I see Paul, and look at the words that he was ministering to others then. And even in those hardest hours, I believe there's things that God is wanting to birth out of you into others. But we've got to surrender to the will of God and allow him to do what he wants to do in our lives. Because there is two sides of the cross. And it's not always going to be on the mountaintop. It's not always going to be a bed of roses. There was a lot of men slain. We all talk about go in. The city's yours. The children of Israel, God given it to you. But there was a lot of men that died that day. When they actually went. There, so there's going to be some people fall. There's going to be, in, in warfare, there's going, to be, there's going to be losses. But there's a greater cause. And there's going to be a greater day stand before each and every one of us. So I'm not coming in here trying to say accept what you're going through. And I mean, I hope I'm coming across and you're hearing what I'm trying to say. Allow God to use you in your situation that you're going through. Allow God to allow, to be able to birth that from you into others. And allow that seed to flourish. And allow God's will to be done in our life. Because... There are hard things that we don't understand in life, but if we'll allow God to use us, I believe it could be some of our greatest, greatest victories that we could ever face and greatest births that we can birth into other people's lives if we'll just surrender to the will of God. So thank you, Sister Sandra, for sharing your testimony. And it does get tough, and it does get hard, and it doesn't mean you're out of God's will. It could mean you're right where God wants you to be. You're right where God wants you to be. 
And God, it's hard when you're in the will of God. Everybody says they want to follow Christ, but you follow Christ. He, at Broca Galgotha, all his disciples said, Oh, I'll follow you, I'll follow you. We don't, you know, these are hard areas because we want to talk about, that's what you will in my name. We want to just, boom, why ain't it happening, Lord? And I believe there's a lot of misunderstanding in, in ministers and the way we deliver the word sometimes. And I believe there's deeper depths so that we still don't even understand fully ourselves that's to be gleaned and learned that we don't even understand. And it needs to challenge us to dig deeper and go deeper to learn more of what God is trying to tell us. Let's stand today as we get ready to go into our second service.